Rocky Mountain Horror Show. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, when I was a kid, that's what I used to call the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Because my brother went to Rocky Mountain Middle School, and I was so ah. used to saying Rocky Mountain that I couldn't, like, it didn't work in my brain. I'd always say the Rocky Mountain Horror <laughs> Show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Want to mention, too, as we talk about, this is our spooky segment. I'm just going to flip that over so I don't have to look at it. <laughs> a wonderful gal. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's East Idaho Adventures on Facebook mm -hmm. and Instagram. Nice. Uh, they've got, Lisa Jones mm -hmm. has put this Google map together. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got fall leaves. Where to go for that? You know, parks and canyons and recreational areas oh to gosh. see the fall leaves. She it's, rules. Yeah. It's got autumn attractions like, um, oh, you know, harvest festivals and fairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's got scare houses. Oh, I love that. There is a link to the map in this post. Oh, I will be visiting that one. Thank you very much. And isn't it funny to note that... Idaho Falls, for the first time in a long time, mm -hmm. has nothing. Doesn't have a haunted attraction this year. How crazy is that, right? Hole in the market, anybody? Right. Well, especially because I kind of think that Idaho Falls was like one of the first big ones in the area. I think so. Right? With Dr. Slaughter's, which mm -hmm. I used to work for. That was very fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then Planet Doom, their mm -hmm. last year was last year. I know. How crazy Did we know that? that? We did know that. Uh, no, we didn't at first. None of them knew it until like the end of the season. And then okay. they just closed up shop and they were like, okay, bye. Like Spirit Halloween, gone on November 1st, yeah. baby. Yeah. It's so weird that there isn't one like local anymore. That's interesting. We'll yeah. see how long that hole in the market lasts. Right. I predict not too long. One would think, but I mean, also you can only really run it for, you know, a month out of the year. But during that month, I've heard that you make enough that it's... Well worth it. I've heard that two people, and this was true in Salt Lake 25 years ago, mm -hmm. they're huge for haunted houses and they Halloween are. in general. Mm -hmm. Nightmare on 13th and the oh, yeah. there's a Rocky Point horror house or something. Something like that. But there, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of them in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. But two people could then, there, 25 years ago, make a living, mm -hmm. uh, lease the building for the entire 12 months. And um, pay to upgrade the attraction just from the money they earned from, I don't know, mid-September to Halloween. Wild. So the one we chose to visit this past weekend was mm -hmm. the Haunted River in Manan. Yeah, yeah, which was super nice. And it becomes the Christmas River in December, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. Follow them on Instagram because they are a very Instagrammable mm -hmm. uh, business here in East Idaho. I would agree with that. And, to, yeah, and talk about a clever thing. Right. They, they get... Three months out of the deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, in fact, I went five years ago. Ninja Nick actually introduced me to this. Uh -huh. And did I hear Autumn, wife Autumn from DIY Weddings and Event Rentals say, ask Ninja Nick about his full-size potato gun. Remember we were doing the oh, cheesy little spud yeah, guns last episode. Yeah, the little potato pew-pews. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Nick, I want to hear more about that. Okay. Yeah. Don't hold that on us. So I've been excited to go back. Yeah, definitely. I would say we have a few tips mm -hmm. for people uh, when they go. First of all, mm -hmm. time. Yes. Pro tip, book your tickets on the internet because then you get a time window. Right. If you just go on a lark like we did, mm -hmm. you'll be waiting in line for most of the internet online purchases to go through. Yep. And then they trickle in the... The plebeians. The plebes, <laughs> like we were. We yeah. were in line for two hours. Yeah, basically. And we would have been in line longer, but we were a very small group. And so they bumped us up so that we could go with another small group. Yeah. And because we went this past weekend, it was nice and warm and it was a still night. Right. Mm -hmm. So light jacket did it. But yeah, I just wore a sweater. I would say dress warmly. Yes. If yep. you're going to be waiting, even if you're an online ticket holder. Yeah. And remember, it's 30 minutes away mm -hmm. from Idaho Falls. Yes, yeah. So build that time into it too. So there's, yeah, an hour of waiting in line, an hour round trip. Mm -hmm. And um, we still had a great time though. It's fantastic. Yeah. The place looks great. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I really liked the little Halloween village area that they have with like the concessions and stuff like that. I loved that they had uh, soft pretzels available Ooh. unlike Oktoberfest. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and that soft pretzel was really good. It, it was, was fantastic. <gasps> and then at the end, so Carly girly. just, she's got a snack. I do. I, well, and also I had like the tiniest, saddest dinner of just some mashed potatoes before I went there after not eating all day. So I was like ready to feast, baby. <laughs> well, and you did it right too. They have yeah. hot cocoa. Oh, and yeah. Then at the end, you got the donut, blueberry <gasps> donuts with caramel Huckle. sauce. Uh-uh. 
Oh. Huckleberry donuts okay. with a maple drizzle, and Ugh. they were so good. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> they were really, really good. They were really good. They were crisp mm-hmm. on the outside and doughy in the middle. Oh. <sighs> and just hot, like really hot. Like I actually went, ow, when I picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fresh out of the oil. Oh, yeah. And they made the whole car on the way home smell like <gasps> breakfast. Just heaven. Oh, it was, it was just, so good. <laughs> oh, man. If they just sprinkle some bacon on there, mm-hmm. whoa. Oh, that would have been really good. And they have these really cute fire pits that you can sit around warm up with too. So you could buy your ticket online, wait for your window by sitting by the fire pit and having some hot cocoa. And then when it's time for you to get in your little line, your little fast pass line, Mm -hmm. you hop on over there and you, you know, get right on in. Now, once we were in the actual attraction, it took probably, what, an hour to get through the thing? Uh, 50 minutes is what I timed it at. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good, five, though. Five zero. Yeah. Wow. And to be fair, the group that we were put with was walking really fast. They were. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I don't think they knew that they were with a couple of podcasters who wanted to get some stuff on video. Right. Well, in either way, like, okay, here's something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out a little. This thing is $25 a person, uh-huh. which is pretty expensive for a spook Yeah, house. so slow the hell down, man. Yeah, if I'm spending $25 <laughs> for something, uh-huh. I'm, gonna, I'm going to get the most out of it. Now, I didn't <laughs> see no cameras anywhere, so slight spoiler alert. Yes. If you're watching on YouTube. Uh-huh. Uh, by the way, subscribe link in this post. Yes, please. Listen to this guy play the organ. <laughs> Nothing like a little box toccata and fugue played on a flaming pipe organ by a crazed priest. Uh, inside a wooden shack, by the way, which was the most terrifying part about that. It was <laughs> cool. It was really cool. Great job, guys. Yeah. We had a great time. Yeah. <laughs>